Hey guys, today we are testing this. Uh, this is a device by Conway called uh, KW510. It's a battery um, battery tool to um, uh, help you diagnose it, uh, to, to help you charge it, and even in some case it, cases fix the battery, improve the performance of your car's battery. So in the box we have the device, which looks like this. It's pretty pretty thick there's a cooling fan over here and an ac input we have two battery leads we have five buttons two indicators and uh, an lcd display also in the box we will find uh, user manual and ac cable okay so let's find the car and let's check how this works i believe that we can check the battery without the AC connection because the battery will power the tool and right now we have uh, five options over here we can check the battery repair the battery charge the battery review last uh, results of uh, the battery test and enter the setup over here we can select language let's stay with English and we can turn off the beep Maybe turn it off, adjust uh, display contrast. Maybe let's bring it here. Um, set charging time so we can have automatic um, charging setting over here. You don't have to um, keep your timer on um, and remember to uh, disconnect the charger. You can set it to, uh, for example, seven hours. Test the device and check the uh, software version of the of the device as well as the serial number okay so let's uh, check the battery it's uh, out of vehicle or in the vehicle it's in the vehicle and we want to uh, check the battery not the cranking test or charging test just the battery state test and uh, let's select that it's a regular battery and it's rated with en standard and it's a uh, 520 amp battery okay and here's the result so the state of charge is 93 percent state of health is 75 we can see what's the peak um, uh, current over here is uh, it's 393 amps what's the voltage what's the resistance of the battery and uh, and that's pretty much it now let's try the cranking test so we need to turn off the engine press enter to test and then i need to go inside the car and turn the engine on start the engine So we have the results, uh, we can see that the cranking uh, took about 7 seconds and that, that includes both the uh, glow plugs charging as well as the voltage going back to nominal state after the engine is on and the maximum voltage was 10.2 10, um, 10 volts, minimum 7.6 and this device rates that, uh, that this uh, cranking was normal. Okay, let's perform another test. Okay, so now the charging test. Now let's increase revs. And we can see the results over here. We can see that the voltage uh, while the engine is idle is pretty much the same uh, when the engine is a little bit loaded when the RPM is higher. So that's uh, okay. Also, we could uh, see the ripple test uh, being performed. This shows us variation in voltage on, uh, especially on uh, low revs. Uh, and if your um, alternator is damaged or is not performing um, as it should, it can uh, it can create some communication issues uh, in your car. 
uh, when you have a lot of uh, modules in your car each uh, of those modules is sending and receiving some messages over the CAN bus and this data bus is very sensitive to any voltage drops so if the ripple test show you shows you that the voltage spikes are really high this could uh, this could cause some communications uh, communication issues in your car now let me show you how to use it as a battery charger so over here in the main menu we are going to battery charge which, which is the third option enter of course you need to have the uh, you need to have the um, ac power cord connected and on the display you can see um, how's the charging uh, doing right now so what's the state of charge how many amps are going through um, to the battery and what's the current voltage over here we have the indicator of the um, weather conditions so there is a temperature sensor which will you know, limit the uh, limit amps going through the battery if it's uh, too hot uh, outside if the ambient temperature is too high and in the winter when it's lower um, it will provide more amps to the battery and there's also an option for battery repair so we can select this option over here and enter this mode there's a warning that the battery needs to be outside the vehicle because this will uh, perform some kind of voltage stimulated regeneration of the um, of the um, uh, battery and this should not be performed if the battery is connected to the car it uh, could cause um, some electrical damage so we are sure that the battery is not in car and it's repairing right now and over here we have we have the timer and now we just have to wait okay so over the past uh, few weeks uh, me and my colleagues were testing it out with a couple batteries and we have some final thoughts First of all, it's cool that it's an all-in-one device. You can charge your battery, test your battery, and even repair all with a single device. It's uh, very fast to operate. It's easy to operate those five buttons. And um, actually, those four buttons are, are all you need. This is just a shortcut to the repair function. It works uh, with 12-volt uh, um, um, batteries. So if you have 24-volt um, system, it will not work in your car. Uh, it can be uh, powered with 110 volts or 230 volts also the uh, display information is very clear it's a cool thing that you can see how many amps are going to the battery and what's the charging state and current voltage and usually you have some kind of led indicator which just uh, blinks if it's charging and you don't know if it's uh, going to take five more minutes or five more hours and over here you can actually see what's uh, what's internally going on in the in the battery and uh, what's the device actually doing right now and uh, i really like the automatic shutdown feature so you can uh, set it to three four five hours and uh, and the device will shut down after this uh, period of time you don't have to wait for it um, and you don't have to be on standby to shut it down when you are leaving uh, your workshop and also the um, ripple test the uh, alternator diagnostic is a very cool feature in this kind of device so it will not only check your battery but also your um, uh, diagnose your car what I don't like is uh, that when you are using the repair function, you just have the timer, which uh, counts uh, how long the uh, how long the repair is taking, but you don't know how long it's going to be. So uh, I think that uh, if they include some more information of, on the display while repairing the battery, it would be very cool. Also, those uh, battery leads. Uh, uh, could be could be a little bit longer it would be easier to perform the, um, the test where uh, where you need to uh, turn on the engine um, you could do it yourself and right now with those short leads you need to have this device uh, over here in the engine bay and with longer um, leads you could take it with you to the um, uh, to the cabin and perform all those tests uh, yourself without going back and forth between the uh, between the steering wheel and the engine bay okay that's it uh, more technical specification about this device is in the description below this video and if you want to buy one of those you can do it on amazon also there's a link to an um, amazon web uh, page in the description below this video that's it for today thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, quick uh, tutorial review test and subscribe for future ones 
See you soon.